paper boy news hit it deliver y'all that daily report now baby g face from five one troubles drop some solid content on demon time exotics so let's talk about it now g face said he learned about gangbanging at an early age being born in south central la he said since he was five years old all he remembers when he came out that door was seeing them but gang members and he said at that time it was only two choices you was either gonna go to school and become something or you was gonna follow suit and do what the gangbangers do which is what he did now baby g face said although he's appreciative of his foster mom adopting him as well as his siblings he said she was a single mother so the streets lowered him in because he didn't have no father so he tried to go find his father figure in the streets and he said being a young black man raised in south central la your father figure was either gonna be a crib or a blood and demon time exotic said g face being a household name for the trouble gangster cribs he asked baby g face how did he earn his reputation and g face kept it real he said when you join a gang you start off as a nobody and you slowly build your reputation through participating with street activities and we ain't gonna talk about that because if you're from the streets you should already know what he's talking about and he said being an active gang member at an early age he done seen the whole system from the camps to the ya's to the juvenile halls to the county all the way up to prison and g face said you earn your reputation in the streets by putting in that work with your weapon but when you behind them walls you earn your reputation through all of your squabbles with your enemies and not turning down any fates then g face describes the first time he got shot which was at the age of 16 and he said the crazy part about it is it wasn't even from somebody who his gang considers an enemy it was by the police now he said in 2001 he was only 16 and he said at that time he was full-fledged gangbanging and he said at that time the police didn't have no body cams on them and they didn't have no cameras on their vehicles so whenever they catch you if they have an opportunity to smoke you they will and he said long story short him and his homie from troubles uh, did some work and they thought they got away with it then out of nowhere the one time pulled up behind them now g face said when the one times pulled up behind them he had a blower on him but he said he didn't want to go back to jail because he just barely got out for a blower charge so he told his homie to drive him to a secret spot so he could stash the blower so when he gets caught he won't have a blower on him and g face said after he threw his blower they kept driving down more and then they parked the car and they got out and ran but g face said what he didn't know is when the police got called to go up there they got a report that it was a shooting so they automatically assumed that g-face and his partners had a blower on them and g-face said not knowing that he got out the car and started running but the police already got a call that it was a shooting so when he did that the police hopped out their vehicle and started busting at him with the 45 and resulted in one of those shells hitting the back of his head and he said when they did that it knocked the patch of his hair off and he said when he turned around to see what the hell was going on the police dumped at him two more times hitting him one time in the chest and one in the stomach now g face said he was passed out but he later realized later on down that the police didn't even call for help and they try to leave him there to die and he said long story short they shipped him off to the icu and he said his surgeon told them that he's lucky he made it but he doesn't think he'll be able to walk again and g face said through the blessing of god he's able to walk talk as well as catch fades now g face said he was trying to file a lawsuit on that officer that shot him because he lied on that report and he tried to say that g face pointed his blower at him and that's the reason why he shot him so when they called in all the other officers to look for that weapon they couldn't find one which pretty much eliminated what that officer was saying and he said long story short a law firm came up to him while he was at the hospital and he filed a lawsuit against that officer that shot him for lying on that report now g face said he could have been a millionaire right now but he would have to go against the g code because they asked him in order for you to win that lawsuit you would have to go to court and testify on that police officer and he said even though he was young at that time the gang banging was already embedded in him and he already knew all the codes so he dropped the lawsuit and it's funny because he said this case happened years back so a lot of the people that 
that he was locked up in YA and juvenile halls. When they hit him up, they thought he was a millionaire, and he basically told them nah, because he didn't take the stand to testify. Now, although a lot of people might look at G-Face's situation and say he's a dummy for not doing that, because he could have been a millionaire now, you gotta understand, he was born in the ghetto, and in the ghetto, they was already embedded in their head at a young age that snitching or testifying on anybody is a no-no. And the same people that raised you and loved you and even call you their homie, when you get on the stand and testify on somebody, it's so easy for them to disconnect that love from you because they was brought up the same way. There is no snitching. And you gotta understand, baby G-Face was a foster baby. So the fact that he joined the Trouble Gangster Crips and they embraced them and a lot of them he looks up to as a father figure as well as brothers that's something money can't buy and he knew if he got on the stand and testified even though he won them millions that wouldn't give him the happiness that he had when he's with his homies in his section but shout outs to all the g-faces big face baby g-face as well as tf who's tiny face from back on fig for doing their thing and now they on social media making money the legit way but y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section. It's Paperboy Newsstand. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there.